Hi, I'm Lauren, this is Julie, and we're two of Festival's registered dietitians. Today, we're joining you from our kitchen talking about popcorn. Julie, popcorn is one of my absolute favorite snacks for movie nights or entertaining. When I was younger, actually, my mom used to, once in a while, if we were watching a movie or a special show, she would make popcorn on the stove, air pop popcorn, and you know, dress it up instead of the, the microwave variety, which was really a treat for us kids. So I have such a great memory of popcorn, and today as a dietitian, one of the reasons why I really love it is because it's a really good for you snack. It's a whole grain, it's low calorie, and it's packed with fiber. But because I love popcorn so much, I make it a lot, and mm -hmm. it gets a little boring after a while, a little monotonous, so right. can you share with us some ideas to kind of spice up our popcorn? Definitely, Lauren. I'm the same as you. I love popcorn, so doing different things with it is a lot of fun. So before we talk about seasonings, because we have lots of fun ways to season the popcorn, we'll talk a little bit about ways to pop the popcorn. Awesome. As you said, your mom made it on the stove, so you mm -hmm. can certainly heat up a stock pot, put a little oil in the bottom, and then put your kernels in there top it off, and then let it go for a couple of minutes until it's all popped. So that's one way you can make it. Perfect. Another way, which is what we did today, is we made it in an air popper. So again, you don't need any oil with that method, so it's really awesome. Yes. And then a third one that a lot of people don't know about is using a paper lunch bag. Hmm. Right? How do you use that? <laughs> right. So we can just basically open this up, and we can toss in our popcorn kernels. So you can use either white or yellow. We have both varieties at Festival Foods yes. mm -hmm. in the snack aisle. So you just put about a quarter cup in the bag, and then we want to roll the top over. Make sure it's nice and secure in there. And then we put it in the microwave for two minutes. And just, you know, kind of like when you're listening for your microwave popcorn to be done, yeah. same thing with this. So really no oil goes in there? No oil. Wow. Just the kernels. Learn something new every day. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. So lots of different ways you can make it other than just yeah. the microwave bags. Perfect. That's yeah. great. So now we'll talk seasonings. So we have our popcorn here. It doesn't have anything on it yet. Mm -hmm. And we are actually going to do a spicy, a sweet, and a savory version. So Ooh. it's a little bit of yes. something for everybody, really. Yes. So the fun good. thing about this, other than the seasonings, is that we are using some cooking spray in order to get the seasonings to stick onto our popcorn. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, so for our first one, we are gonna do a savory version. So I'm gonna use an olive oil cooking spray. Oh, so I'm gonna go oil. ahead and spray it on there a little bit and kind of toss it around so that all the kernels get a little bit and try not to spill over the edge yeah. there. Pop so we have a little bit of, of the uh, cooking spray on everything. And then this first seasoning blend I have here is Italian seasoning with garlic powder. So we're just gonna toss some of that onto our popcorn and kind of toss it around in there. Again, we want to make sure that each little kernel gets some of that seasoning. And you can kind of put as much as you want on there. There's lots of recipes out there, but you don't have to follow it exactly. You can kind of do what you want with these. So this is with garlic powder. What else is in there? That's the Italian seasoning. Oh, so okay. oregano, basil, thyme, those types of seasonings in it. And those are all at right in our spice aisle at Festival. Absolutely, right. So I think we can give this a try and see how it tastes. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> the, the best part, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you can add more seasoning if you want, but that's just a mild version. I so, put some Parmesan cheese on that. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be Yeah, good. <laughs> be delicious. So we'll get that one out of the way. And then we are going to do our spicy version. So I love spicy food, so I use a lot of chili powder in this one. Um, and then it has paprika, so we'll give it a try. I know you're not a huge <laughs> fan of spicy food, but we'll see how it goes. So again, we're gonna add some of that cooking spray on there. Okay. Kind of toss it around. And this is just chili powder? This is chili powder and paprika. Okay. Yep, so we are gonna, again, just kind of toss that on there. Give it a little bit of spice. Ooh, that's pretty. Can't go wrong. It is, it's very beautiful. Yeah, something a little different. And I also like smoked paprika, which is another spice you can find in our spice aisle, and it gives that smoky flavor, Ooh, so it could be smoky that would and be spicy. Really good. So we have that all coated. Whoops, making a mess again. So I'll let's try this guy. <laughs> let's give that a try. Mm. Mm, that's a good amount of spice. It is. Yep, that's good. So got a little kick. Now get some of that off my fingers because we don't <laughs> want it in our sweet version. Yes, this is my favorite. So this is. Almost everybody's favorite because we love <laughs> that kind of sweet, you know, savory combination. So we are going to coat this one in butter flavored cooking spray. 
And what's the reason for the butter this time instead of the extra virgin olive oil? Well, you know, you could really use any, but I love the flavor of butter with cinnamon and sugar. It smells so, good. Yeah, so it's going to be the perfect combination. So this, again, is cinnamon, sugar, and then a pinch of nutmeg. And we're just going to sprinkle this one on here so I don't get my fingers all messy again. Yeah, no need to go light on this one, like with the <laughs> right, chili right. powder. So, again, just nicely coat that. And if you like any other, you know, sweet spices, you can also use those in here. So we put extra on this one. So let's give that one a try. Oh, yeah. Mm, that's perfect. Mm, that's definitely my favorite. <laughs> I love the little punch of nutmeg we get. I would love to use this in like a snack mix and put in like some Czech cereal or mm -hmm. dark chocolate chips, maybe some nuts, pretzels, and Absolutely. make it kind of a snack mix. That'd be awesome. It'd be delicious. The sky's mm -hmm. the limit with the popcorn, so that's what's really cool about it. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. And one other thing too that you can do that I recently tried was setting up a popcorn bar at home for like a movie night and setting up all these different seasonings, getting your big air pop popcorn, putting bowls out and mm -hmm. kind of making a little activity for everybody. That's an awesome idea. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Good, good. Well, I'm glad we got to talk popcorn since it's one of our favorite snacks. So we hope that you try this at home. And for more recipe ideas, visit festfoods.com and click on the health and wellness tab. Back to you guys.